Right, come up to Christmas. Some people forget the true meaning of Christmas. I just think it's drinking and giving presents. But obviously it comes from the story of the, the nativity. Very briefly, what is the story of Christmas, as you, as you remember? It's baby Jesus was born, is it? Mm, okay, let's, let's, can we expand on that a little? Um, let's start the night before. What happened on Christmas Eve? She was, um, Mary was pregnant. Right. She's wandering about, um, you know, probably knowing it was due. Was she knocking about with the three fellas at that point? No. <laughs> no. Three fellas being... The wise men. No. She wasn't with them. No. Who was she with? I honestly don't know. What was her husband called? Her husband was... I don't know. I wasn't that interested in, in Ari. Jesus right. was born. Right, OK, um, and Mary and Joseph, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They travelled, didn't they? On a donkey? Yeah. What happened? She's pregnant. Yeah, we've done that. And then she's like, I'm going to have this kid in a bit, sort somewhere out. Right. He says, she we're going to struggle. She came from Salford. It's Christmas Eve. Right. Um, no. And they stayed at her. No, stayed no, at no, her. no, no. It wasn't Christmas Eve, was it? All right, then it's just a normal day. Yeah. And they stayed. I mean, they couldn't, find, it. They couldn't find anywhere. Right. So they stayed in a stable. Right. She had the kid on December 25th. Um, that's it. Then what happened? That's it, really? No, it, it was the three fellas she was knocking about with at the beginning. The you wise thought. men. Right. And uh, there was a star involved, they followed a star. Um, you see, you're making me look like a div here, but it wasn't an important lesson at school. I wasn't, I'm not a Catholic or anything. I'm nothing. I'm sort of... My mum even said, she said, don't tell anyone that you're not anything. She said, because it's something about witches. When I was a kid, <laughs> when you're a kid, you're at risk of being taken away People by... People think he's a character. People think this is scripted. No. Imagine if I bothered writing this. But it's not important. You, you, it's, it's so not important, this story. What did your mum say about witches? No, she just said, don't go around telling people you're not christened or anything. Right. Um, I did a bit of... I did a Sunday school thing um, called Crusaders. Right. Joined that. But I just went on, like, the Friday when they had Sabutio, table football. And then they came knocking on the Sunday saying, come on, you've got to come with us. Right. And I went, and it was rubbish. There was no Sabutio. There's an old fella reading out a smelly Bible, really old books. And I hated it. I said, I'm not going on a Sunday again. So I used to just go on the Friday, and, um, <laughs> yeah, mm. that, that, that is religion for me. There you go. I didn't need it. I don't need an old story. Final thoughts? What does Christmas mean to you, then, Carl? If you don't like old stories, what does Christmas mean to you? Just look, look down and tell people what they should be thinking of this Christmas. What does it mean to you? Um, it's hassle, isn't it, Christmas? Um, Gotta buy presents. Uh, the meal's all right. The food's all right. It's the best, isn't it? If the roast dinner is the, uh, you know, the king of meals, surely the Christmas roast is the king of roasts. Yeah. Um, Christmas. I could do without it. If someone said we're getting rid of it, I'd go all right. I don't like all the build-up. I don't like that bit in between Christmas and New Year when nothing's happening. That's a dead week. Nothing goes on. People are still off for Christmas. Christmas has happened. Get back to work. You can get nothing done. Everything comes to a standstill. Why do you like Christmas? Uh, I like being allowed to drink gin and tonic at 10am while watching Noah Ledman's give little sick kids presents. Well, that's what I mean. That's what it's about. It's not about, you're saying to me, telling me the story of baby Jesus, you haven't got a clue yourself. It's not about that. It's about, like you say, eating chocolates. Same as Easter is for fat people with chocolate. <laughs> I love Easter. No, you don't. You like eggs. You like chocolate, you fat little... Do you know what I mean? So, we don't need it. Maybe back then, when you were, you know, wise men knocking about a desert, they needed something to look forward to. They probably didn't live that long. I don't think they were looking forward to Easter, though, were they? No, but listen, 
But, but Jesus you, you, certainly wasn't you looking had nothing. forward to Easter. Back then, when you watch Scrooge, yeah. everyone's looking forward to it. Tiny Tim, go and get a chicken. <laughs> now, these days, have a chicken when you want. Anyone can afford it. So it doesn't. It hasn't got the same values. <coughs> Tiny Tim, go and get a chicken. Oh. Uh, happy <laughs> Christmas. Brilliant. Right. <laughs>